Today I'm joined by none other than the incredibly talented, the visual mastermind, the artist of the Sense Universe. You already know his name. It's Daryl Pachucci. Hi, Daryl, and thank you so much for joining me and our great backers. I know that you're joining us from your studio where you are currently working on a piece of art for Sense 2. Hi, Louise. Thanks for having me. Uh, yeah, I'm actually I'm working on a piece uh, for Pride. Um, pretty excited and uh, can't wait for you guys to see it. Well, I'm going to dive right in. Uh, first, I want to know how is it to create art for a game such as Sins? Uh, well, you know, every format has its um, has its challenges. Uh, I've done work for comics. I've done some concept art. Um, done, you know, a lot of private commissions. Um, and you know, Sins its particular challenge is really to get a good image that reads at a small size. Um, so that's that's always uh, a challenge. And you know, at first when I started, it was. Um, it was kind of difficult to wrap my head around it because you know you have a large canvas you're working on it and uh, you can't always see how it's going to read until you really shrink it down to to card size so I, i've definitely learned a lot over the over the two seasons <laughs> well what about the creative process like what goes behind creating something like a sin like how do you actually illustrate a sin <laughs> So when I uh, first start off, I'll do all of the sins on a on one page. Uh, this way, I can just kind of see if they're all working together, and uh, I can see what's working and what isn't, and make adjustments as I go. And again, like I said, my my main goal is to make sure that the card actually reads well, has good values, and keeps the theme of the sin. Um, and then, you know, sometime through that process, I'll grab some references for you know poses or color. Uh, what kind of mood I want the card to have, that kind of thing. And then once I'm happy with those sketches, that's when I pick a color palette, maybe three to five colors uh, that I think will work well. And then from there, I'll start to refine the painting, adding and adjusting lighting, and you know, keeping my values in check, and eventually working up to the, the details in the, in the finish stage. So. Now, also about um, the creative process, how do you come up with a scene like what's happening in the picture itself uh, for example how did you come up with some of the art for season one uh, let's take an example such as like the wrath beast so so for wrath so for that particular card that one actually came pretty easily um you know i think wrath is one of those like primal emotions that everybody can kind of relate to um so i thought it'd be best to do some kind of you know, angry forearm demon. I, I really, I wanted to give him the extra limbs because I, I really like the idea of giving this guy a ton of weapons, like he's on the battlefield. And I just wanted to depict this really, you know, angry, fiery uh, creature that's just, you know, it like it lives for destruction. And that was that was kind of what I was trying to get across. Mm -hmm. And now I, I heard a little rumor that the head that the wrath beast is holding is. Somebody special? Yeah, that's that's me. Yeah, I use myself as the uh, decapitated head reference. So <laughs> I figured it would be fitting anyway. <laughs> yeah, it's very cool. Now, this sounds like it came a bit easier for you. Some of it might not. Like some of the sins are maybe more difficult to translate into art. Um, how do you have any uh, example of that? Yeah, um, the one that really comes to mind is the second Envy uh, that I had to do. That one was pretty challenging. Um, I think Envy itself is always challenging because it's just, you know, it's a, you're trying to depict someone or something that's that's coveting something, you know, power or possessions or what have you. And, and to try to make it concrete is it's pretty difficult. Yeah, I, I think I succeeded for the most part. Um, but that one's every time it comes to do a new envy, it's uh, you know I, I definitely uh, I definitely take my time on it because <laughs> it's it's pretty tough. <laughs> yeah. Now this season, season two of Sins, we're going to introduce some new uh, mechanics, mm -hmm. which also are reflected in the artwork, such as minions and items. Um, how do you work with minions and items? 
Well, the uh, the minions, um, the real challenge there was to take uh, a pre-designed creature and just to kind of put my stamp on it um, and you know have a little bit of a little bit of fun with it. Um, the way I kind of see the minions is they're they're you know the henchmen of the main you know sins counterparts, if you will. Um, you know they're they're uh, they're they're dangerous you know critters, but you know maybe a little less so than the than the main sins. Um, but uh, they've they've been pretty fun. Um, the the items though, I think is where it's it's really fun. It's one of the mechanics I'm really looking forward to. Um, you know, trying to come up with a weapon or a spell book that ties into the theme is really pretty cool. It kind of adds a dimension to the Sims world. Um, suddenly, it just—I don't know. There's more. There's more depth to each faction, and it just makes the the world feel more lived in. Mm -hmm. Now, my final question, because now we're talking about the different seasons and how has uh, this this art also evolved from season one to season two for you? <laughs> Um, you know, my, my process of painting has really changed over time. So I'm taking that with me going into season uh, uh, two. I also feel like I have a better grasp of the format. You know, seeing the card in hand really kind of changed things and how I want the art to look in the final product. So that's that's a plus two. Um, the other thing, though, which is it's, it's kind of a little bit unexpected just with all the other world building stuff that's going on with since it's because that world is expanding and getting larger, it just, I feel like it gives me a little bit more room to create and it, it's, it's pretty exciting. Yeah, we feel the same way. And Daryl, thank you so much for taking the time to share with us about how you make this stunning art. And uh, I can't wait to see how season two turns out. Um, thank you so much. Thanks. Thanks. I hope everybody enjoys it. And uh, Luis, thank you for having me. It's been great talking to you.